Hi Gemini! Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel. This is a love romantic relationship reading for you Gemini. This is for you. This is applicable for singles, couples in a relationship or dating. This is for the sign of Gemini. This is for the period of March 4 to 10, 2019. Oops, this card flew out. I'll take that. Before I start, Gemini, I want to thank you for your likes, for your subscribe, for supporting my channel. And those new subscribers, thank you guys for subscribing and welcome to my channel. All right? This is for the sign of Gemini. Universe, one more message, one more card, please, for Gemini sign, March 4 to 10. Okay, this one wants to go mad. You are here. Your presence is acknowledged, Gemini, because the lover card, the lover's card is here for you. So before I start, Gemini, I really want to remind you to click the notification bell because it will give you the, um, oops, um, the... You know the real time update as to when I upload, upload the video or post something in the community. All right, so let me just get two clarifying cards for Gemini Universe. What can we get for Gemini? Okay, okay, this card wanted to flew out. Make it happen. Okay, one of the message here, straightforward messages. Make it happen. I always see the magician as some a card is really powerful. It's you know my 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 uh my interpretation and intuition it, it changes it transcends so whenever i see the magician it's a message for you to make it happen make it happen all right this is an ideal this is a soulmate connection this is an ideal couple this is an ideal communication this is an ideal connection all right if you're just dating um you could be dealing with law or policies or justice or but it's just something that with your relationship is approved, all right? Your, your relation is going to be approved. You probably are getting married, engaged, but the law in order, the justice, the balance is in favor of your relationship, okay? So all you have to do is to make it happen. And these three cards, I felt like it's more of, it could be this is a recent past because I'm drawn to start with this part of the reading. This is recent. This is past, it could be in the past, you know, you have emotional imbalance, lots of emotions, and you felt like it's not over. But to be honest with you, these three cards, I felt like this is in the past. You've just gotten out of this. If you were struggling to understand the feelings, emotions of this person towards you, or if you are in a commitment, or you are in a dating situation where it is confusing, um, there's a lot of back and forth. There's a lot of holding back. This is gonna be over. Okay. This is there's gonna be balance at the end of this. Don't ask me how you will get that balance, but they just show me these three cards where you are gonna get back together. There's fairness, and you know, make it happen. Yeah, let's get an in be in between cards. Okay. So it has. Okay, there's going to be a big change. So when I ask, you know, what's the in-between card? Because I was describing that this is the past and this is looking like the future. So what's in between is the tower. So this is, again, connected to what I say, make it happen. If there was an imbalance, misunderstanding, um, confusion, it is calling for a big change, all right? You need to, like... Um, you need to get rid of the, imagine a big building, okay? When a, bu when a building is new, it's, it's, it's new. It's very stable. So the more the building, the more you use up the building, the more people use it up, you know, it, it becomes, it, it's no longer new. There's still some stuff to be maintained. It's just, there's stuff to be improved. So, that description in your reading simply says that the foundation that you've got in your relationship, it needs to be disassembled or like a tower. It needs to, it needs to, it needs to restart or reboot. All right. You need to reboot the relationship to, to something brand new, to create a new foundation 
because this is the only way you could get to these three cards where marriage, stable commitment, soulmate connection. And it, it's just telling you that you could make it happen, you know, as my first me message. You could make it happen by getting to a reboot kind of stage in your relationship. So basically, you know, imagine a big tower. You, you, you destroy everything up. So what's left on the foundation, on the ground, builds something new. All right. So it's a reboot. You need to reboot a situation, a communication as if it was brand new again. And that's where you're going to start to have this, you know, this marriage, this soulmate. And what goes beyond, it's up to you. But it's saying it's all possible. It's in your hand. It's within your reach. But the first step is to reboot. Okay. So that's for you, uh, Gemini. Thanks for, is it Gemini? Yep. Gemini. Yes. Thanks for your time. Thanks for being here. I'll see you soon again. Bye-bye.